What's up, YouTube? It is your girl, Ness Sneak Review, back again with another video for you. In my last video, I told y'all I was going to bring y'all this story time about the time I got my sneakers messed up and it was Valentine's Day and I thought I was fresh. So we're going to have story time. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Turn on your post notifications so you know when your girl posts another video. Comment down below how you feel about this video and then give me a thumbs up as well if you're fooling with the content so without further ado let's go ahead and get into story time <music> Today is story time. I have never came with a story time on my page. I've did, done like a, a mukbang, things like that, but I've never done a story time. So I felt like from my last video when I mentioned it, I was like, that is a good story time. So this is what happened. Like this was like started off a good day, a happy day, you know, Valentine's Day. Started off so good and then it just ended where I wanted to say some choice words, but I did it. I, I might have, but you know, started off good, didn't end so good. So yeah, let me paint the scene for you. Let's, let's go ahead and paint it. So it was Valentine's Day, Valentine's Day um, 2020, which was on a Friday. And I was also going to a bowling competition. Um, so, you know, I was like, you know, I'm gonna put on a nice little fit go to this bowling competition, you know, look, look decent. It's Friday. You know, I can actually wear whatever I want to wear to work. So I just put on this nice little fit. You know, I'm going to show you the fit right here. I'm going to show you the video. Let y'all see. It's going to be on one of these sides. I'm going to show you the, I'm going to show you the fit, the video, you know, what I had on. So yeah, so I, I get dressed up, go to work for a couple hours, but I leave early because I go to this competition. Um, so I go to the bowling tournament great tournament. We decide um, to go out to eat. Uh, so we go out to eat and I believe we go to Longhorn Steakhouse. It had rained the day before. So you know when it rained, it's a little muddy, everything. And I knew this, like before I put on the shoes, I was like, okay, it's, it's a little muddy outside. It rained, but I could, I'm really cautious when I wear shoes that I don't want to get dirty. Like I walk the sidewalk. I won't walk in the grass, you know, cautious about my sneakers because I love them like my babies. So I knew it had rained. I knew it was a little muddy, but you know, I thought I was being cautious, but apparently not. So we decided to go to Longhorn Steakhouse. Um, and it was packed. So packed that the parking lot, I drove around the parking lot three times. There was nowhere to park in Longhorn Steakhouse actual parking lot. Um, and so, you know, I called on the phone, you know how you do before you leave it. A location y'all sure y'all want to eat here do y'all want to wait there's nowhere to park you know what y'all want to do so they was like well we're gonna go park you know um at the restaurant next door and it was like it was clearly close walking distance it's like okay cool so we go park at the restaurant next door and i see one of the people that i'm gonna go eat dinner with they walk up the grass you know into the restaurant and i was like okay cool they walk through the grass look like you know, they straight, like, they didn't have no reaction that they messed up anything. So, they walked through the grass. You know, me, trying to be cautious, right? I even assessed the situation. 18 seconds. 18 seconds, but I can shave three seconds off. Puts me at 15 seconds minus the two. That puts me at 13. 13 plus four puts me back. 17, 17 plus one puts me back at 18. 18 minus seven. four is 14. 14 minus two is 12. Number one rule when you wear nice sneakers, you assess the situation. I swear to you, I assess the situation and I was like, find the place that looks the driest. Tiptoe, I was like, find a place that looks the driest and you're gonna tiptoe through, you know, the grass and we're gonna make it clean. I guarantee y'all, I assess the situation. I thought I found the driest place in this in this grass and the grass was like a brown like a light brown color so you really couldn't tell like what was wet what wasn't wet you know what was muddy what wasn't muddy and so i took a step and i was like you know how you take a step you kind of pat down like make sure it's good that step was good i was like okay 
Okay, we're good. So I take that step, and my next step, I go. And by that time, I know that my shoes are muddy, but I can't go back. So I just said, you know, you know the words you say. And I just hurry up and got out of it. I really thought it wasn't that bad. I really thought, you know, it was just the sole. Actually, I got the shoes right here I can show y'all. I was wearing these Air Max 95s, right? And as you seen in like the picture in the video I just showed, I was wearing these Air Max 95s. So I thought the mud was maybe just on the white part. And I got a video, which I'm gonna show you the video. But so I walked, I walked through the mud, I get in the parking lot of the Longhorn Steakhouse, and like I'm just furious and like one of the people that was that was eating with me they look at me and they're like what's wrong with you and i'm just like i'm, I'm to the point where i can't even get the words out and I, and I just like look down and shake my head and they look down at my feet and they're just like oh my like oh my god like like legit my shoes were muddy so and we're gonna get to that video because I went on Snapchat and I was like pissed. Um, so I get in Longhorn Steakhouse. Clearly there's a long line. There's a wait. Um, and I go find the people I'm eating with in the corner here. Sit down, wait. And the other person that had seen my shoes first, it was like, you know how you nudge your buddy? Like, hey, like she messed up her shoe. Like, I was like, bro, don't even look at them, bro. Like, don't say nothing. And so I was like, I go to the... Um, the person that like kind of take seats you or whatever. And I was like, uh, where's your restroom? Cause I already know, like I'm pissed. Like I, I'm pissed. So I'm like, where's your restroom? She's like, oh, you gotta go to the, so I go to the restroom, kick my shoes off. Like I went to the biggest stall, the handicap stall. Cause I knew I was gonna need room cause I was pissed. So I, I kicked my shoes off. Apologize if anybody needs to use that stall while I was in there, but I was having a moment. So I, I truly apologize. But nobody came and knocked on the door. I don't think anybody needs a stall. So don't bash me in the comments about using the handicap stall. I'm sorry. Just enjoy my story time for what it is. So, yeah. So, I go in the handicap stall. And I just kick my shoes off. And I record this video. Yeah, I am so motherfucking pissed at this point. Oh, my God. So, I record that video. And as you see, like, my shoes are muddy. And so I, I get some paper towel, wet those. Like before I even went in the store, I grabbed a bunch of paper towels, wet them because I already knew what was up. And so I go in and I just start scrubbing. I just start scrubbing my shoes, just trying to get the mud off of it for them to look decent so I can at least go back in this restaurant and eat this nice steak that I was about to buy. So I'm just scrubbing them, scrubbing them. And, and to be honest, Without any soap and just a paper towel and water, I did pretty good. Like, I did pretty good. Like, I have done nothing else. And this has been since February 14th. I've done nothing else to this sneaker. And most people be like, they look clean. But, you know, once you get close up on some, they not all that clean. But, like, I, I swear, like, I was pissed. I was very upset. But I do need to clean these. And this was like, when, when I got these messed up, I don't even know if y'all can see this. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to put it in the camera lens. Uh, but when these got messed up, this was like my third time wearing this sneaker. So, it's not like I had worn them multiple, multiple times. Like, they were practically new. And I, like, was really upset that I messed up my sneakers. Because I thought I was really fresh that day. <sighs> I thought I was really fresh that day, but you know, you win some, you lose some, but you live to buy another sneaker and to clean your sneakers. So it's okay. So, um, but that was like my story time of the time. Like I just messed up some good sneakers, but I do need to just get some rejuvenator and just go ahead and clean them. Um, but since, since that day, they just been sitting here. And I need to clean them. But I had to tell y'all about the time. Like I really messed up my sneakers. When I really thought I was fresh. And it was on Valentine's Day. Good thing I was single. And I went out on a date or nothing. You know what I mean? Nah. But <laughs> good thing. You know I wasn't out on a date or nothing. But you know I thought I was fresh on Valentine's Day. You know. 
single and mingling. But but yeah, that's that's my story time on these Nike Air Max 95s. I don't even know if I did a review on these when I got them, but I might have. If I did, I would put that. I will put that review at the end of this video if I did do a review on these. I really can't remember if I did, but the Nike Air Max, you know, 95s right there, real colorful. That's my story time. Like I said, go ahead and join the Net Sneak Review um, Squad, the Sneak Squad. Join us over here. Join the movement. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Turn on your post notifications so you know when your girl posts another video. Come in. If you just had this experience before, um, hit that like button. If you're fooling with the channel, if you're fooling with the content, more content to come. Like I told y'all, go ahead and jump on the wagon. Now, it's better to say you was fooling with me before I got hot than to fool with me when I get hot. But no, tell a friend, tell your mama, tell your mama boyfriend to check out that sneak review. Go ahead, subscribe. Give me that like. Comment down below. And y'all already know what it is. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.